97 ZOK, it's on Fox tonight. Master Chef. And it's so great to have one of the contestants on with us this morning, Nate Love. Absolutely. Good morning, Rockford. How you doing? Good, Nate Love. It's Steve Shannon and Mandy James. Now, is that name real or is that your TV name? It is my real name. My parents didn't think I could handle more than two syllables, so they gave me Nate Love. <laughs> <laughs> so, Master Chef premieres tonight. We were just watching this interesting uh, uh, video where normally there's 20 contestants, and 20 contestants got surprised with 20 more. Yeah, they dropped the hammer on us this year. You know, in previous seasons, everyone's kind of competing together for an apron. But uh, this season, they brought us all together and told us that we were the top 20. And once we were filming, we were standing there talking to Gordon Ramsay, Graham Elliott, and Christina Tosi, the three judges. And next thing we know, 20 other contestants walk out, and they tell us, you guys are going to be competing against each other for the white apron. When we come back with Mr. Nate Love, to some of you, that name probably sounds familiar. There's a reason it does. For some of you, you're about to learn something about Nate. You're going to find pretty cool, and it's going to be the biggest reason why you watch every episode of Master Chef this season on Fox. And also, his backstory is about the coolest dang thing I think I've ever read. The Steve Shannon Show on 97 ZOK. 97 ZOK 811, Steve Shannon Show. Hit our website up, 97ZOKonline.com. Find out exactly where to be at four. For Magic Waters passes and a shot at season passes. Master Chef tonight, Fox, 7 o'clock. Rockford's. <laughs> Nate Love is one of the contestants. Boylan High School, what what year? 2004. You're not, really going to date me on that one, Steve. Oh, shut up, man. I'm class of 86. <laughs> We're not even going to have that conversation. <laughs> you know, funny thing my mom told me last night is that your mother-in-law was my preschool teacher at the YMCA in Boyd, Wisconsin. You're kidding me. No, true story. Wow. What a small world. I know. It's pretty crazy. And someone, did we once meet at Rock and Bowl at Don Carter Lane's then? Oh, my gosh, Steve. That was like my third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade life. Every Friday night. Every Friday night rock and bowl. So this was back when you were doing burger and fry baskets, but you sort of elevated your game, yeah? Yeah, I, you know, I can still do a burger and fry basket, but I think I've turned it up a little bit. Now, the, it seems to me the difference in Master Chef is none of you have ever cooked professionally. This You're all just basically home chefs, right? Yeah, that's correct. So the premise of the show is it's America's top home cooks. Okay. So no, no culinary school, no formal restaurant experience. And really paying attention to cooking didn't come until after college and you moved to Chicago? Yeah, so, you know, once we moved to Chicago, we all had our first jobs and our first paychecks, were not, which were not large. So we all liked to eat good food, and we wanted to go to Chicago's best restaurants. Unfortunately, we didn't have a paycheck to support that. So I just told all my friends, like, hey, we can still eat restaurant-quality meals. I'll just do the cooking. So we would go over to either my apartment or a friend's apartment, and I would do all the cooking, and I'd throw it down and try to whip up restaurant-quality meals. And fortunately for my friends, over time, the meals got a lot better, and I think uh, everyone would prefer to come to my kitchen instead of going out now. You just taught yourself how to do all this. All self-taught. So how do you actually get to audition then? For Master Chef. One of my best friend's wife, she was like, Nate, you have to try out because I'm the one that's, that's cooking for her all the time. And I was pretty apprehensive at first. And then I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll go for it. So they had an open call in Chicago. Everyone prepares a dish for the audition. And uh, I guess they liked what I was cooking up. What was it? It was an ancho crusted ahi tuna with a cilantro pesto. Mm. Like, Stop. No, no, that, wait, nobody. Uh, need, don't talk. I just want to. I want to pretend I'm eating that. Just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It was, it was really good. Really good. Oh. Did you, is it possible to have a strategy to win this thing? It's a great question. Um, you know, every personality out there is so different. So I guess you can kind of try to play, uh, not necessarily mind games, but you kind of have a good understanding of who the competition is and. You can use that to your advantage. Now, what is the ultimate outcome or the goal of the show? So, the winner gets a $250,000 prize, which uh, wouldn't ruin anyone's day. It sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. 
Hey, and you get a uh, cook put deal as well as the notoriety, which is probably the most important thing of being a uh, master chef of, uh, the, of America. So a cookbook deal, a quarter million dollars, and then, of course, the accolades that come with being the master chef. Sounds terrible, right? <laughs> and you get to have celebrity friends over for dinner like us. And I get to be on GOK. I mean, how much better does it get than that? You see, he's still not confirming that he would actually cook for us yet. What if we oh, asked well. really nicely? <laughs> yeah, let's do it in studio. I'm in. This dude only does it dapper, so we have to get dressed up. We can't come slouchy. No t-shirts and sweatpants at my table. Sport <laughs> coats, pocket squares, that'll look good. I love your style, Nate. Tonight it's on, the two-hour uh, season premiere of Master Chef on Fox. Nate, we wish you all the best, man. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much for having me on and for all my Rockford friends out there. If you want to follow me on the season, you can go to my website, which is dapper-dining.com, and I'll give you the inside scoop so you can stay up with me.